what do you do with broken dolls? You don't throw them away for sure. Learn new ideas and life hacks for parents. Watch and do it with our channel, Lalalu. Oh, these kids. How could they leave such a mess? Toys are all over the floor and mom has to pick them up. And these dolls are completely broken. Hmm, I have an idea. I'm gonna show you. It's not easy to see a goddess in this doll. Let's try to turn it into an antique statue. Heat up a utility knife over a candle and cut off what's left of the arms. Cut one of the pieces in half. Glue the half as a continuation of the shoulders. Let's attach the leg while we're at it. Fasten the doll in a stand made out of a piece of flour styrofoam. Squeeze white glue into a bowl of warm water and stir it well. Soak paper towels in the solution and wrap them around the bottom of the legs. Shape a nice fold using a brush. Wrap another paper towel around the hips and adjust it with a brush too. Wait for it to solidify. Now that's a whole different thing. Ancient Greeks wouldn't like this hairstyle for sure. Let's take care of it. Put the hair into a neat wreath and style it at the back. Soak a foam rubber sponge with the glue solution and fasten the hair. With this hair styling product, our statue will last for centuries. Mix white and beige acrylic paint so the shade looks like marble. Take a sponge and gradually color the statue. face too. Apply paint onto the hair using dabbing motions. Coat the fabric with a brush so paint gets into the folds. Also coat hard to get spots on the hair and the stand. Our antique Venus takes up the place she deserves. It said the best museums of the world were fighting to get this statue. And I heard that she used to have arms. Right, but we remember it and love it the way it is right now. Let's make a flower doll out of a broken LOL. Outline clothes on thin green felt. Cut out a hole for the neck. Try it onto the doll and wrap a strip of felt around to be a belt. Fasten it with hot glue and cut off the excess. Cut the stalk off an artificial flower using cutting pliers. Cover the cut with hot glue and fasten the flower to the body. Will I be the most beautiful flower in the garden? No doubt! Hot glue a plastic stand at the bottom. And a marvelous flower is blooming in our garden. And this doll will be a magical bird. First of all, untangle the hair. Pour hot water onto it. And apply your favorite hair conditioner. Rinse it well. Remove the water and blow dry it. Cut off the split ends. The hair looks so well groomed. Super glue white feathers to the bald spots. Let's get to the clothes. Outline a top on foam paper. Cut it out and try it onto the doll. It fits flawlessly. Fasten it with hot glue and decorate with rhinestones. Now let's sew a skirt. Fold up a piece of fabric and make a stitch so you can pull it later. Attach a wire to a ribbon and pass it through the top of the skirt. Pull the skirt on the waist and tie a fancy bow. Hot glue snow white feathers to a strip of fabric making a row. Place it around the waist and decorate with rhinestones. A bird needs wings. Trace the template on purple foam paper. 
Cut it out and glue the pieces instead of arms. Cover the joining with feathers and keep on attaching them till the end of the wing. Add more feathers onto the wings. Attach two more feathers to the top. Add a decorative pendant onto the forehead. Our amazing bird is sitting on a branch. It's a miracle to see it. This LOL doll doesn't even look like she had eyes and hair before. And a little Yoda doesn't need them at all. Polish the head with a fine sanding sponge. Make two ears out of light clay and attach them. Adjust them with a modeling tool where it is needed. Shape eyelids and a face. Mix paints for the skin of our little creature on a palette. Paint the eyelids, the ears, and the head of the little Yoda, and don't color the eyes. Coat the whole body. Paint the iris with brown acrylic paint, black pupils, and don't forget about the highlights. Define the skin folds with dark green paint. Add light beige onto the ears. Coat the eyes with clear nail polish so they glow. We need to dress Yoda. Sketch out armholes on a piece of brown felt. Cut them out and put on the vest. Hot glue it. Draw a coat on thick gray canvas fabric. Now separately glue on sleeves. Add a twine belt and a collar. Our baby Yoda turned out so adorable! We have the upper half of an LOL doll and air dry clay. And the most important thing is that we have got a great idea! Knead clay and shape a tail of a snail. Attach the doll's body to it. Make a roll and wrap it into a big spiral. Attach the shell to the tail. Coat the hardened clay with a base shade of acrylic paint. And paint the shell bright red. Add shades with darker paints and make the shell textured. Add volume and highlights with lighter shades. Use white paint to randomly add dots. Yay! It's time to decorate! Take different flower decorations. Some moss, artificial leaves and branches, tangled grass, flowers, and mushrooms. Our snail turned out so nice! Sorry, I'm in a hurry! Snails are so fussy if you listen to them closely! We have to save the remains of a favorite doll! A teddy bear is too soft and a baby doll is too hard! We need something in the middle! A doll is broken into pieces! The arms, the head, and the body are separated! Hot glue the head to the neck! Place parts of the arm away from the body! Outline contours of a pajama! How it's going to look when it's done. Cut pieces out of two layers of terry cloth. Sew the outfit along the joining lines and turn it right side out. Take polyester fiber filling and tuck it inside. Put the head and the hands where they should be. And sew them so they stick tightly. Hot glue a fluffy tail. Wrap a headband around the head. Make a bow out of two strips of fabric. Decorate the headband and the suit with rhinestones. Our sleepy doll <sighs> fell asleep with her kitten. Shh, don't wake her up. Did you like our doll makeovers? Yeah. <laughs>
then hit the thumbs up and click on the bell so you don't miss more awesome DIY videos on our channel, Lalulu.